Hello again, and now we're ready for needle weaving. Look at all that. Um, it's, it's pretty by itself, too. Okay, to start your needle weaving, it's a little different. You do not thread, you do not anchor your thread behind the stitches. To start needle weaving, if I want to move in Let's see now. The direction I'm going to be moving in is I'm going to start here and move this way and then go around. So what's going to happen is half of this area will be needle woven and as we come around the second half will be needle woven. And as we do the second half of the needle weaving, the, thereby finishing up the whole area, we'll throw a dove's eye in there, but only in the second half. So I want to move from here to here. So actually I'm thinking I'm going to be turning this over. So I'm going to put my, I've got a knot, and it'll be a waist knot, at the end of my thread. And actually, I'm going to turn this around because I'm going to move that way. So I'm going to, and I'm looking through the camera, so it's hard for me to see. Okay, I'm going to put my th needle into the middle of that area, and I've got the waist knot there. Then I'm going to come up. Ah, uh, let me think now. <laughs> Every time I do this, I have to think. I'm going to come up like this. Now, as I said, I'm doing this through the camera. I'm going to go into the middle, and I'm actually going to take this thread. So into the middle, I'm putting my needle over top of that thread, and I'm hooking it. And I'm pulling it. So actually the actual thread itself is coming behind these bottom two threads. So my pearl cotton is coming behind here and I've got my needle over top of it. So that's what's going to anchor that. Uh, as a quick note, I'm using now a size 24 tapestry needle with size 8 pearl cotton. Before I was using size 5 pearl cotton with a 22 tapestry needle. Okay. So I've pulled that. As I said, I'm doing this through the camera, so it's really tough to see. So I'm going to do a figure 8, basically. So I'm going to go into the middle each and every time. I'm just going to make sure I'm pulled to the side. Not too, too much. You don't want to pull those stitches out. And when I've done this, these bottom threads, these bottom pearl cotton, will wrap around those two threads, wrapping that pearl cotton that's at the back, and that anchors your stitch. So, now I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to try to keep this in frame, and continue to... So I make sure that that, you kind of see that pearl cotton there and it's staying in the back behind the bottom portion. Okay, as I said if I get out of frame I apologize. So each time we sink our needle into the middle and we figure eight around. Oh shoot, got a knot here. There we go. Okay, figure eight around. And I have to note, I just noticed that uh, on YouTube itself I can do some editing. I don't know if I will with these because there's an awful lot of videos. But in the future, if anybody has questions, please feel free to ask them. And if I can, I can do another video and maybe even edit it properly. Um, 
I, this is all a learning experience for me when it comes to technology. So uh, please bear with me and uh, do ask questions because if I haven't shown it right, I can always do it again. Okay. And as you can see, we're needle weaving that in place. And as I said, I'm really hoping it's staying in camera for you, in frame. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to turn this corner. Now, as far as how full you make your bar, and one of these, this area is a bar, is really up to you. Um, as with everything, it's up to you. Uh, just be consistent. And my only suggestion would be don't fill it too too full because then you're starting to push stitches or push things out of the way. So we're going to leave it at that. I'm just going to stand up and see if you can see that. Okay, I maybe could do one more, you know, one more round. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'll leave it at that. Okay, turn your work. Now I'm looking through the camera so it's hard for me to see. <laughs> and start again on the next one okay and bring if you're right-handed do it this way so you're always pulling to the right when I go in especially right at the start I kind of try to give it a tug to the right too just to make sure I've done it it's looking neat and tidy okay So let me do this a little bit further. Where are we? Six minutes, 6.54. Okay. And uh, get to the next. And then I'll show you that waist knot, how easy it is to cut that waist knot and get rid of it. Alrighty. So there. And. Now a lot of times as I'm stitching with hard anger, I will, uh, and you'll see me leave the camera so I apologize, I'm letting my thread hang to untwist. There, okay, sorry about that. I let it hang to untwist and you have to do that sometimes fairly often. It's, it's a nuisance but it makes it, uh, makes the stitches look nicer. They don't get too twisted, they they keep that sheen which Pearl Cotton has. Alrighty, we're going to go to the end here. We'll tell you what, I'm not going to go to the end. What you're going to do, I'll stand up again so you can see. So you're going to stitch like this. You see how I'm doing that? So half of them will be done. This half will not be done. They'll be done when you come back around and continue on. So just do Let's see if I can do this better. So you've done this, 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 this. A step pattern like that. Now, to delete, delete, <laughs> to get rid of your waist knot, again, I'm looking through the camera so it's hard to see. Pull it up. And I wait, I usually wait, I do the first one, the second one, maybe even the third one before I cut it but well, we should be okay here, and then cut it. So just a second, I gotta get back down to see, just to make sure. Okay, so there, and cut. So the waist knot is gone. You can see it there. Do this and it'll be gone. There you go. So that thread is anchored underneath here, and we'll go there. Um, when you run short of thread, I try to, I go down here, I don't, I, I do my best not to end thread in this area. I'll end it at this end so that I can weave it behind these cluster blocks. You can do that. So to end your thread, get over to the side, if you can, you can't always, but if you can, 
get over to the side and behind your work weave it into your cluster blocks. And when I do this with the number 8 pearl cotton, the thinner thread, I do extra weaving. Sometimes I even travel back because it's a thinner thread, it has a better chance of coming out. If I end, for some reason I have to end in the middle, say for some reason I'm ending in the middle here, I'll actually go to the back of the work. Now say I've come up here and that's and I'm ending my thread. I've stitched all the way up here. I will actually take my needle and hook it under one of these stitches under one of the end stitches so that it doesn't float out into the open area and then weave it into the back of my work. This is the back. Oh, my telephone is ringing. <laughs> I'm hoping that explains it. Uh, please let me know if you have questions and I will come back to show you when we get to around to do the dove's eyes. Thanks so much.